everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video! And today's makeover is gonna to become probably the most dramatic transformation on my channel. Because I thought that it's gonna be interesting to take a Monster High doll and first of all the most iconic and the most recognizable ones like Dracula or Frankenstein or in our case today is Claudine doll, so the ones that everybody knows, and to transform them into a completely different person, to make them someone else. Of course, I'm doing it approximately every week. I'm changing the makeup, the face, the hair, the outfit, and the dolls always look kind of different after my makeover. But And this time it's gonna be a real plastic surgery. Because I'm going to... First of all, I'm going to try the head shrinking. I've heard about this technique already a million times, but I've never tried it myself. And I'm pretty curious about it because you know these monster high dolls they're pretty disproportional, they have very big heads and uh, yeah they say that there, e there exists a technique to shrink the doll head seriously. Then also I'm going to make her cheeks smaller because now she has quite a round face, round cheeks. I want to make her face more skinny. Uh, I'm also going to change the shape of her nose, make her lips a little bit more thin and of course I'm going to cut her yeah, animal, animalistic ears off and I'm also going to give her real human ears. Uh, I'm also going to change her body color and uh, yeah, maybe something else will come in the process because yeah, it's gonna be a very cool and very radical makeover and that's why I'm really calling it a plastic surgery because I think that in the end the doll is going to change completely. So, let's put our gloves on, take the sharp knife, a doll and let's go! So first I'm quickly preparing the doll like I always do it. I'm removing the clothes, cutting her hair off, then I'm taking her head off after making it soft with a hair dryer, and then I'm pulling the rest of the hair off with the tweezers, and finally I'm removing the old face with pure acetone. And now let the plastic surgery begin. First of all I'm cutting the ears off and then I'm taking the last look on the old face planning the transformation. Like I said the cheeks needs to become less round, the nose smaller and the lips should be thinner. Then I'm taking an extremely sharp precise cutting knife and I start cutting the face. I told you already that once I've seriously cut my finger with such a knife and since then I'm quite panicking when I need to use it, so this time I took a very thick kitchen glove to protect my hands.
taking a piece of sandpaper and I start sanding the doll's face. So this is how the head looks after sanding, and now let's make it smaller. And for this I put the head into a pure acetone, and I will let it there for 48 hours. Oh, and I would really love to give her normal human ears, so I think this Gulia Yelps doll with a huge burnt wound on her head could become a perfect ear donor. But first I need to shrink the ears as well, so I put them next to the hair into the jar with acetone. After 48 hours, I take the head out of the pot and I see that it has become very big and soft. It feels like some jellyfish now or something, and you see how much bigger it is than a normal Monster High doll head. And now I let the head dry for another 48 hours. And now you can see that the head has really become smaller than it was. But I think I want to repeat it all again to get even a better end result and to shrink the head even more. So I first let it soak in acetone for 48 hours, and then I let it dry again also for 48 hours. And this is how the head looks after all the modifications next to the exactly the same Claudine's head. And it also feels very hard, like some pure plastic, not like rubber anymore. And before going farther, I still want to sand it some more to make the surface absolutely smooth. And now let's implant the ears. I fix them with a pin, add some glue and I let it dry overnight. After all that head shrinking procedure, the hole in the head has also shrinked, of course, and later I might have serious problems with putting her head back to the body, so I make the hole bigger with the Dremel tool. And now let's work on her body. First of all, I'm getting rid of her hands with animalistic nails and the gloves. 
And then I'm sanding the body with buffers for nail design to remove the glossy top layer. And I think I'm going to give her this super cute tiny hands from some Ever After High doll. Now I'm cleaning the head and the body with an acetone free nail polish remover and then I spray them both with a, such a nude color acrylic paint. And here I just wanted to say that it has nothing to do with the racism or other ugly things. My goal is to make a doll that will look completely opposite to what it was before. And in this case I'm making her skin tone lighter. And when I will work, for example, on Frankie or Draculaura, I will make them vice versa darker. So that's the plan. And then after three layers of this acrylic paint, I still cover the body and the head with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And I let it all dry. And now we are finally ready to draw a new face for her. And first I sketch like always her eyes, the nostrils and the lips with a pencil. And then with soft pastels and with a piece of an eraser, I shape the eyebrows. It's contouring time and this time I'm going for a very natural look with darker brown shades.
And also let's pay some extra attention to her brand new ears. Let's also add some extra blush to her cheeks. And then I repeat all the same steps to blush her body. And now let's finally take my pencils and draw her eyes. And I use like always Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. I'm going to give her brown eyes because this is the eye color of the original Claudine doll. And since we are talking here about plastic surgery today, the eye color should stay the same. This time I have even less space for drawing since I have shrinked her head twice, so it becomes even more challenging for me. drawing her eyebrows combining different shades of brown. For her lips I'm going to use such a dark magenta color pencil that I've never used before. And from now on I will try to use every time at least one new color pencil. Because some of them are waiting already for two years, like this one here.
gray shadows to the squares of her eyes and I also drew the irises more detailed. Then I draw the highlights. And now it's time for the black eyeliner and the bottom eyelashes. And with white acrylic paint, I need to add reflections to her eyes. So now we are almost done and I'm going to make a gorgeous fluffy silver wig for her using the hot glue technique like always. And the wig will also help me to cover the holes from the old ears. Then I need to put the head and the body back together and let us pray that the doll fits good because the head size has seriously changed. Thank God the new bigger hole that we've made with the Dremel before fits the neck perfectly. And now I just need to attach the false lashes, dot glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips, and to sign my doll in the end, of course.
and now it's finally her outfit. This week I've asked my mom to make a very stylish outfit for her to complete this miraculous makeover, you know, like in these TV shows. And this is what I've got, and I'm really happy that my mom keeps helping me with doll clothes because I have finally some extra time for such a big and time-consuming experiments. And here is finally the end result of our extremely radical doll makeover. Who would say she used to be a Claudine just some days ago? I've posted a poll on my Instagram stories asking which doll it used to be, and just less than 40% of my subscribers could guess it used to be Claudine. So I think it means the makeover is succeeded. And by the way, right now, when you're watching this video, my Instagram followers are choosing a look for the next week doll. So check my stories and vote. And I really hope you enjoy my big makeover this week. And if so, please don't forget to put your likes under this video. And of course, subscribe my channel to see my new experiments with dolls every week Friday. And please hit that bell button. It seems it's very important for YouTube nowadays to track the channels with like more interesting content. And thank you guys so much for your support, and we see each other very soon in my new videos. Bye!